hostile UAV above. Oh god, I had to take a breather. But uh, all right, what's going on, buddy? We're on AC here, and uh, sorry if you heard that big breathing. I had to take a deep breathing. Jesus Christ! But uh, welcome back. And right now we get some beastly gameplay on Hijack, which I went ham in this gameplay. I also have another beastly Newtown gameplay, which I wanted to upload today, but I couldn't. I don't know why it just disappeared, but I will do my best to get that back. But I oh, hope you guys do enjoy this gameplay. It's like a 70 plus. I cut it up and turns it up and shit, but please do enjoy. So today we're talking about Black Ops 3 and my somewhat thoughts on the game so far. So I'm a little late on the uh, Black Ops 3 hype train. I might have said something about it, but a little late on it. But I didn't want to compete with all the big YouTubers. So here we go. You know, you, you can't beat Spam Martin. That's, that's, that's impossible. So the first thing I'm talking about is the gunsmith thing or whatever it's called. So this to me seems like a recipe for a disaster. Now in in, in Advanced Warfare we have the elite weapons. And those are guns you can't make. And if you guys play Advanced Warfare, if you have an elite weapon here uh, compared to not elite weapon, I feel like you're at a huge disadvantage and you have no chance against any any other weapon. So if you imagine imagine you be able to make your own weapon, alright? And people just make the most OP combinations. And match and and with all the YouTubers, man, you know YouTubers like T Mart, Chaos Officer, LEA, uh, just a whole bunch of people upload videos about the best gunsmith combination. They're just probably gonna outshine the regular weapons. Now I could be completely wrong, which probably probably not. I don't I don't really know on that scientist. But I could be completely wrong, but to me seems like a recipe for a disaster. Now the next thing are the specialist, or you know, I like to call, or I like to call the Destiny ripoff moves. <laughs> yeah, the Destiny ripoff moves, you know, because Von Har, you know, our boy Von likes to play Destiny a lot. So instead of making their own unique idea, they try to work from Destiny. No, I'm kidding. But you know, the specialization thing seems like a really cool, and unique idea to the game. You know, with the customization, yeah, oh, fuck me, with the customization in Black Ups too. Being added to block up, you know, the pick 10, uh, score streaks and shit. This, this specialization thing seems like a good idea. To me, it seems like, um, it seems like a great replacement for special, specialists, right? You know, you, you have your nine special things, and if you earn it, you earn it. I hope if you earn it, you should earn it. You shouldn't be able to just be able to unlock it. Kind of like in Titanfall, you just get your Titan. Hopefully, with the specialization things. Or the special character stuff. You know when you get the power stuff with your guy, um, you you actually have to earn it. All right, you don't just like kind of get it through time. You know, get it through kills or playing the objective. I really hope you earn it through that. And it seems like a good idea instead of pro perks, but I could be wrong about that. But I don't think I am. I feel like it's a great and I get unique idea. Look at that. How did how did I miss that uh, nade kill? How did I miss that? But look, I died one off my streaks right there. If I would have got that to the streaks, I would have got more kills. But right here, I go hand salt. I get these guys. Hold on, assist. Get that guy. I killed this guy with the CV Wonder Knife right here. Watch, watch, watch. Bam, bitch. I don't I even know how I got him. That guy got shitted on. But, man, I missed playing Black Ops 2. But I also got Black Ops 1 yesterday. So I'm trying to get good good gameplay for that, but I've been fucking ass at it lately. So it might be a while until I get good gameplay. But, yeah. So let's move on. Now, the next thing are the wall running slash maps. So, they're bringing back the three lane maps, thank god, because the ghost maps are complete horseshit. And Advanced Warfare didn't have really good maps, in my opinion, you know. Most of the, most of the maps weren't even that good. But, uh, my friend told me that Turek has been working or for trying to perfect the map for the past three years, three to two years. Hopefully, if the past the extra year they have for making the game, the maps will be great. And uh, hopefully, they'll all look good. You know? I want this game to. Really, really, really great next gen game. You know, great graphics, great visuals and shit. Get beast or something some bright shit. Fuck you. Man, C4, C4 is so OP in this game. They, they need an. Oh, God. Hey, don't return C4, man. It's still OP as hell. But hopefully, with the math, like I was trying to say, they they perfect them good, alright? And like I said, my friend said they spent the last two to three years perfecting the maps, and that's the great thing, you know. Besides gun balance and gameplay, the one, the one thing you need for a great game is maps, and hopefully Von Her and uh, Treyarch know what they're doing with the maps. So these are some of my initial initial thoughts, initial thoughts on Black Ops 3. You know some of the uh, new shit they added. But if you guys didn't enjoy the video, please slap the like button. Add me on Twitter too. It's in the just it might be in the description, but if not, 
It's my YouTube name, Riley and Sheets. Same as my YouTube, so check me out there. And I hope you guys did enjoy the gameplay. I wanna work on my best to get DC gameplay. But look at this, get turned on, kid. But I'm out. Peace! And look forward to more gameplay and block up stupid videos.